sleepy waves you wanted to look at uh, you wanted to look at uh, Intel right so let's take a look at Intel Boop. let's do a little look-see here and by the way let's do a quick look for lululemon okay just because Boop. lululemon is down that much which is good since family has put some lululemon let's look at take a look at moderna moderna was up today okay moderna is up five dollars and forty cents so hmm. what's going on that's an indicator by the way microsoft microsoft family has puts on microsoft microsoft was actually down three dollars earlier today and is crawling back up again right what else what else what else what else um well let's look at intel intc okay here's intc let's bring up uh, you know what we'll close the nasdaq website for options we're not going to use that we'll keep the yahoo open uh we don't want that we want intel tc <clears throat> intel and we'll bring up intel here as well okay intc <clears throat> And let's look at the chart for Intel first of all okay and here's because it's a simple look we'll take a look at it in uh, in uh, on Google because it gives you a clean it's not busy right so here's the Intel chart so Intel chart in last year it peaked at around $68 right and it's sitting at around $51, $52 right now. Okay. It's got a market cap of $210 billion, a PE of 10%, and a yield dividend of 2.69%. Okay. You can come down here, you can look at what the financials were on a quarterly basis. So they had revenue of 19 billion, net income of 6.8 billion cost of revenue of 8.45 billion you can see all these metrics this is the quarterly and here's the annual okay annual they had 77 billion in sales net income of 20 billion okay down you know 0.71 percent from the previous year cash on hand of seven billion dollars cost of revenue 34 billion right <coughs> So that's the general chart for a year. Here's the general chart for five years. And here's the max chart for Intel. It does a lot of fluctuations and it's looking like this. And it looks like just basic. It looks like it's sitting on some kind of support, right? Let's go back here and let's look at the technicals on this thing. Okay, some of the technicals anyway. What Lululemon is clothing company in vancouver those are icicles falling clothing company in uh headquartered in vancouver british columbia it's overpriced in my opinion it's uh the the clothing is uh i knew someone in, i know someone in the textile industry and they say it's cheap cheap ass shit right but it's got a huge market cap and people buy it the one of the reasons they people buy it and my friend uh, in the textile industry mentioned this uh, she had the opportunity to uh, work for lululemon uh, when they first started by the way and basically she told me that people buy lululemon product because it's it's high-end high-end expensive meaning right so it's for people who have extra cash to spend and it makes this is her uh, paraphrasing her wording it makes uh, women's asses perk so women like buying it because it perks up their bums it makes their bodies look better than what more fit than what they are right so it's a smoke and mirror thing but they do have serious revenue they have stores all over the world and they make good income right Dempa uh, yuki no just a boring kind of sick unfortunately oh no boring sick not the exciting stuff so here's intel right 
this is the six month chart on it right you can take a look at it it popped above the 50 day moving average and then most likely if we do the earnings you can add a new metric here da -da 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 overlay uh, where's the overlay uh, chart overlay let's see if we can put the earnings on here where's the earnings uh, price parabolic moving average uh, simple moving hey where's the earnings events oh there it is events earnings let's put the earnings on here there it is you see this major drop here that was most likely they missed their earnings right so the stock does drop now before we put that on that's what we're looking at right but when you see a drop like this is usually an announcement or usually it's a warning or they actually came out with their earnings and they missed their numbers or expected numbers right so it's a good idea if you're seeing major doop, major movements in a stock to see what took place right and right now this is where Intel is sitting is channeling between the 200 day and the 50 day moving averages right and here is the one year chart for it right it looks like it might be bottoming out okay and we can definitely take a look at the chart here as well Intel here we can take a look at the chart and some of the metrics that we've set up just to see oh yeah by the way here let me go back one more and you can look at different stuff right now analyst rating you know there's nine people let's say it's a buy uh, right here right oops right here right nine people say that's a buy you know two people say that it's overweight 21 analysts are saying because it's one of the major tech companies it's got major coverage 21 people are saying just hold it and six people are saying sell it right now we can take a look at the charts here as well okay. and do one year chart on it and you can take a look it's showing the same thing right and for us this is just a moving average that i've plotted on here put on here so it's sitting well below the 200 day moving average but a little bit above the 50 day moving average here it is here now would i be betting that this stock is going to go up uh, let's see the 200 two year chart on it here's the two year chart all right let's do a five year chart on it five year chart refresh yeah it could go either way uh but it, the odds are it won't do serious heavy movement and then you can take a look at the options and see the premiums on it and intel again this is trading at what 51.69 so what you see here is sitting between 51 and a half and 52 right so people are betting one way or another there's lots of activity going on here right five thousand trades and stuff but you can take a look at for example two months out february okay february it's saying that if you're gonna bet that let's pick a nice number it's sitting at 5170 so it's between it's closer to 52.5 right so if you're betting if you want to bet that this stock is going to go up right and you want to buy calls for it for the next two months right you're going to pay a you're going to pay let's say take what it's being offered at or what it traded at last bid ask this is the last last trade dollar 77 right so right now dollar 77 is the uh, if it's going to go down you're going to have to pay a dollar 77 to be able to control 100 shares of intel right on the way down right so you have to pay dollar 77 to have the right to sell intel at 50 dollars a share if that's the case then you only make money right if intel trades is sitting at uh 48 33 right 20 no sorry 50 minus that 33 three, yeah 48 uh 33 you break even right 
because the difference between 48.33 and 50 is dollar 77. If Intel closes below 48.33, you're making money, right? So, for example, if Intel drops down to forty dollars by February, February 18th, you see the date here, February 18th, 2020. If it drops down to forty dollars, then you go. Ten dollar difference because you had to you bought the rice to sell it at a fifty. That's ten dollars you can sell Intel stock for, but you paid a dollar seventy seven. So what you can do is go ten dollars here. Let's bring up the calculator. Ten dollar ten dollars minus one point seven seven. That means you made eight dollars and twenty three cents, right? If Intel drops ten dollars in the next two months, okay, a little bit less than two months actually, because we're going into January first, so month and three weeks, let's say, right? What is that relative to? What type of return is that? So, eight point two three three minus dollar seventy seven divided by one point seven seven. That's 3.65 times return on investment, return on your money, right? Now, if you're betting that the stock is going to go up, right, you can buy calls on Intel at $50 a share for $3.25. That means Intel stock has to close, be at least fifty three dollars and twenty five cents for you to break even and anything above that is premium that you're making okay that's the way you can think about it <coughs> Ronnie you got some top comic comic right Ch -ch -ch. Da, 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 da. I wish I had gotten the spider-man carnage comic but I'm still happy with what I got Ronnie says Ronnie what did you get you got I can't remember what you got. And by the way, hi Ronnie, how you doing? Hey Chicho, I received your package. Well, thanks again. Ah, oh, awesome Ronnie, glad you got it. Oh, oh, how are you doing? Welcome to another live stream. I'm surprised they don't seem to have been affected by the global microchip shortage. Uh, supposedly Intel is coming up with some new, new, new stuff, and they they were affected by the global. Uh, shortage to a certain degree because take a look at this this is the one year chart and oh come on it's refreshing again come come hurry hurry there we go oh intel's closed down now it was up 55 nice we're going to take a look at it so take a look at this thing at the six month right on october uh, 21st they announced their earnings and the stock dropped right stock dropped so they were probably affected by the shortage supply chain issues right so let's take a look at Intel options right so Intel was up 55 cents right now it's down five cents let's see hey where'd the options go on it oh it kicked us out of the options options let's take a look at the options come on doop, doop. load load my internet's really slow Here's the option. Here's what the dun, 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 dun. Oh, let's look at the straddle. Look, I don't use Yahoo too much for options. Uh, there, we're looking at the 52 one, weren't we? What were we looking at? We're 50. Oh, crap. I forgot which one we're looking at. <laughs> where is the intel uh, da, 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 da. yeah we're looking at the 51 uh, oh hold on let's bring up uh, Q. it was a 52 we we're looking at oh now I forget what we we're looking at poop anybody remember what the strike price was How does this work? You sell them now for 50 and you have to buy them back at uh, 
48 of whatever price no 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 that's shorting rank this is option option is you're paying a premium over the time frame to control a certain amount of shares you're not buying the stocks or selling the stocks you're buying the rights to be able to sell a stock at a certain price or you're buying the rights to be able to sell a stock at a certain price so what you risk is that that's all it is you're not risking any more than what you're putting in if you're naked short selling and stuff like this you're risking huge right so that's the difference that's the difference okay that's the difference oh because we're looking at alcoa we weren't looking at intel that's right we're looking at alcoa before uh for 55 cents it was up so what would what would alcoa be doing right now let's see that alcoa do movement we weren't looking at intel we're looking at alcoa oh alcoa is still the same okay so that's the general gist of options trading okay and one thing you can do is you can look for you can bet that the stock is going to go up and down right so for example if we go here let's find a serious movement in the market see how many things moved heavy right let's see if anything's had done a major move that might have options on it ah, nothing's see the thing is nothing's moving really uh too much right now okay nothing's uh because it's the last trading day let me do this let's bring up my video and let's bring up chat uh, so do you think it's going to go up or down based on the charts for Intel oh that's a serious question right it looks like it's bottoming right so it might do a move up but um, it, it really depends on the announcement from what I understand sleepy waves uh, Intel wasn't was going to announce that they were going to um, they're working on something new right so it really depends on what their news is uh, as far as the general market goes what's Intel's PE Intel's PE was pretty low I believe and it gave a dividend let's see let's take a look at that sorry if I'm not sharing the screen it's not worth sharing at this speed goes out Intel's PE is 10 it's got a yield of where's the yield yield is 2.69 right 2.7 percent yield the PE is low and the yield is uh 2.7 percent which isn't bad relatively speaking I mean Intel's competitor is Nvidia 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 is killing it and has been killing it right Nvidia's PE is 92 it's got a yield of 0 0.05 right so as far as value investing go intel is better value in terms of tech goes people are choosing video over intel uh intel i believe lost apple's contract if i remember correctly 